All right, welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna learn how to do the manual migration from Bluehost to SiteGround. It should work though from any web host going like from HostGator or iPage or DreamHost to SiteGround. Let me know any questions if things look different. We're just gonna start at Bluehost um, because that's where my client's WordPress content is and she wants to move to SiteGround. Um, and let me know how many websites you're migrating to SiteGround. So in part one, we did the professional migration because that's free when you set up a new account. And that's what I recommend doing because you probably aren't too comfortable with how all the migration stuff works. But in this video, we're gonna do the manual migration, which is perfect for your second, third, fourth websites that you need to migrate to SiteGround um, because you probably don't wanna pay SiteGround to do the whole process. Um, like I said, your first migration is free and then after that, you have to pay them X amount. So this is gonna be actually really easy too, although it seems complicated at first. And yeah, we can begin. So the first step is just to log into your new SiteGround client area right here, and we're gonna click on websites. And I'm gonna blank out some stuff here from my client, but you'll see the important information you need to click. And if you don't have your SiteGround account set up yet, I definitely recommend you check out our SiteGround promo codes link, which was at the description in the part one video, and I'll put it in the description of this one. That way you can go ahead and take advantage of this awesome SiteGround coupon that we have set up for you. There it is. So you can make sure you get the best SiteGround discount available. SiteGround is updating this page daily for us with any new discounts that are coming out. So you can be confident with that. All right, and yeah, here we are in our client area. And to get started, we just need to click on new website. So we're gonna click on existing domain We've already registered a domain name and it's a live WordPress site. We're gonna take things over here and that's why it's existing domain. And then you're just gonna write in your domain right here. You don't have to enter in the HTTP part, but make sure you enter in the .com part. And then click continue. You'll get this little exclamation notification from SiteGround saying the domain is not registered with SiteGround. That's fine, it's probably registered at Bluehost or wherever you're migrating from. You should make sure that you have access to this domain in order to update its DNS settings, which we do after your site is created or your site won't open. So they just mean we should be able to change the name servers so that the domain name points to this newly migrated site when we're done. To proceed, click continue. So that makes sense and we can continue. All right, now we're on the perfect screen here. We could start a new website and install WordPress into this new space, or we could migrate it, but we already claimed our free migration from SiteGround. So our only option here, which is perfect, is to skip and create empty site. That's what you wanna do. And we're not gonna add that right now. We're just gonna click finish. Great, so what we're doing here is creating the location. We're creating some land space to migrate all of our content to. It says you are all set, and now when we go to our websites, you'll see one new blank website. And on the box for your new website, just click on Site Tools. And we're gonna go find our token. And now we're gonna come on down to WordPress and click that, and click on Migrator. All right, so here we go with our token. It says to generate a migration token, please specify the URL. So it should be already selected right here. Perfect, and leave this path blank. Don't change this. I don't think we can get rid of that slash, so keep that in there, and then just click Generate. All right, and your token's gonna pop down here, and that step worked great. All right, so now we have to go over to your original WordPress website or blog that you wanted to migrate, and make sure you log in. Now we're gonna head over to Plugins, and click add new and pop over to the search area and we're gonna look up the SiteGround Migrator. There she is, just click install now and activate. And this is the magical plugin SiteGround has bestowed upon us that will send all of our content from this area into our new SiteGround hosting. So to use it, we're just gonna click on the SG Migrator tab all right, and pretty simple. All you need is your token. Good thing you found your token. So come back to your site tools where we generated it. Just click copy. 
Now back in the original website, we're going to paste it in and we can change up this email so we know when it's done. And it really is that easy guys. So we're just going to initiate the transfer and sit back and wait for all of our files to go from Bluehost or wherever you're migrating from over to our new SiteGround client area. And this won't change anything about your original website. It's just going to make a copy of your website. So let's initiate the transfer. And we found ourselves another good opportunity to take a break. Snack time. So as we can see here, the SG Migrator plugin is doing all the heavy labor here. And um, we've got about 100 and some files out of 1,700 and change files. And once we're done with this, everything will be moved into our new SiteGround hosting. The final step will be just to preview the new site and make sure everything looks in place after which we are going to learn how to change the name servers and go live with our new site. Or if you want, you can join us in part three and we will transfer your domain name over from Bluehost to SiteGround or wherever you are to SiteGround. And the beauty of transferring your domain name is essentially you keep everything in the same place so it'll feel nice and organized for you and also potentially less DNS lookups. Sometimes when you visit a website and the domain is one place, the hosting's in another place, the um, browser, like Chrome, has to do DNS lookups and just make sure they know where everything is. So it's like going to two places to do your grocery shopping instead of one. And you can imagine which one's going to be quicker for your audience. So I'm going to go eat my little freezer burrito here, and then we are going to do that and go live and complete part two together. Thanks, guys. All right, great stuff, guys. It says transfer completed successfully. Your WordPress has been migrated. Awesome. So we actually don't need to use any of the buttons on this screen, but I'm going to open up our site and just show you that nothing changed. All right, so here it is. Everything is still here looking good, although a little bit slow because it's on Bluehost, but still good. And now I'm going to prove to you that our site migrated to SiteGround. So we can go back to Site Tools where we got our token. Now click the go back to my account arrow. Just let the page refresh here and now we're going to go to websites again. And here's the work we just did right here and we're going to click on site tools. And now we can click on site and then file manager. And if you open up public HTML, now we have all of our WordPress files migrated smoothly, successfully, safely, you know, comfortably in first class, whatever you want to call it. They're all here and WP content is where all this stuff goes on. So super cool. We have our files. Next, we need to get our IP address and that way we can preview the site before we actually switch the name servers. So to get your IP address, we could just go to that original email ticket that SiteGround sent us when we started migration. I just like finding that in my email and you can click on that here link. All right, and there we go. So we saw this in the first video in this SiteGround migration series to preview our first site we migrated, and that IP address will be the same for all of your sites on this hosting plan. All you need to do is go to host.cx again. So host.cx. And we're gonna use the same IP address, AKA server address, and the new domain name. Make sure you enter in the HTTPS slash slash for this though, and click get my testing URL. And if it gives you this message, this is default server vhost, there's nothing here. It just means that this sort of website is glitching up a little bit. So I'm not too worried. I know it looks good because we saw all of our files in site tools. And I trust SiteGround's migrator plugin 100%. So the final step in this manual migration process is just going to be to go to Bluehost or wherever your domain name was initially registered. And I've just logged in at my.bluehost.com and it took me to this screen here. So I have like a sort of older version of Bluehost. If you see something different, just drop me a note below in the comments and I'll help you get to the right screen, which is going to be domains. So we're going to click on domains. Okay. And then we are going to click on the domain name we just worked on. Make sure you check it right there and then click on name servers. And the final step here will be to click on use custom name servers and then drop in your Psycho name server one and Psycho name server two. 
you can find those back in my SiteGround account. If you go to services, click on domains, and then we're gonna to go to the primary domain name for this account and click on manage. And scroll down and you'll find name server one and name server two. So we're just gonna copy paste those in at Bluehost or wherever you initially registered your domain name. Beautiful. So there's one. Sometimes when you right click, it doesn't give you the right copying window, which is annoying. There we go. And name server two, just as they appear in your site ground client area right here. And then once you've done that, we're just gonna click save name server settings. And once you click that, it'll take anywhere between a few and 72 hours to fully point your domain name from your old hosting to your new hosting. So everyone will see your new website. After that's done, you can go ahead and cancel your original website and you'll be fully moved over to SiteGround. So thanks so much for watching, great job. Let me know any questions below in the comments and smash like if you learned anything. I'm Greg Narayan and I'll see you in part three of our SiteGround migration series.